Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I went to Walmart yesterday and I bought a few things, so I just wanted to show you those. And I just wanted to say, like, I got a few of these things at Walmart and then I got a few of these things at Kroger last week. I have been looking for Milani makeup in stores for a while now and I cannot find any anywhere. So, I don't know what's going on. If you know where to buy Milani other than online, post it below because I've been to CVS, I've been to Kroger, I've been to Walmart, I've been to all over and I cannot find any Milani makeup. I just want some Milani. I don't know what's up. So, yeah. Anyways, let me go ahead and get into this haul. <laughs> So these are all mixed up. Alright, so prom's coming up. I have um, several prom girls to do Saturday. I think I have like between five and seven girls to do for prom Saturday. So I'm going to be super busy, but I'm so excited. I love prom season and wedding season. It's like the best time of year for me, obviously, um, in my line of work. But I um, always have to pick up some extra lashes around this time, so I picked up two packs of lashes. Let me pull those out. So these are my absolute favorite lashes to use on myself and on my clients. Excuse my nails, they're starting to pop off, so I know they look terrible, whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, these right here, the Kiss. 11 lashes which these are the easiest lashes if you're a beginner at using um, false lashes these are the easiest ones and I feel like they work for everybody when you're first getting started and these are still my favorite to this day and then these are not as easy but pretty close and these are just gorgeous and they're pretty similar um, as far as the shape these are just a little more fluttery and look like Kind of more wispy I guess you would say and these are the kiss look so natural light and soft as a feather and these are the poise lashes and I love these lashes I'm wearing the poise lashes now and they are light like you can barely tell that you're wearing them and these are pretty light too they're a little bit heavier the the band is a tad thicker but these are just a lot easier to work with because the band is already shaped for your eye, if that makes any sense at all. But um, yeah, these are my favorite lashes. I picked these up, I think these were both like around $9 a pack, but that is for 10 pairs. So they're about a dollar a piece. So that's not bad at all, in my opinion. And um, these come with like a little lash applicator. I have so many of these things, you guys, but I use tweezers, which do as I say, not as I do. You should not use tweezers. Use these. Tweezers are dangerous to put near your eyes. They're metal. Minor metal, anyway. Um, just be careful. Whatever you're putting near your eye, just be careful. Alright, so the next thing are these big, big Silky Touch razors. I've been using these razors for years. They're super cheap, and I love them. I don't know. I just I love these razors. I can't switch. I've tried other ones, and these are still my favorite, so... And they're the most affordable, so I highly recommend these razors. The next thing I'm super excited about, I'm actually wearing it now. I just filmed a drugstore prom look for you guys, and I used this palette. I forgot to put the brushes back in it, but it did come with two double-ended brushes. But this is the Hard Candy Look Pro Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and it has all matte shadows I did just use this so sorry it's not exactly perfect but there it is I absolutely love this palette it was only ten dollars that is awesome for an eyeshadow palette and it was actually really blendable um, the shadows were a little bit dry and a tad chalky and there was a tiny bit of fallout but for the price, this palette is amazing. I highly recommend it. I love it. And it comes with like a little mirror too. And it's a pretty good little mirror. But yeah, there's that palette. That's what it looks like on the front. Okay, I always have to pick up one of these. These are in the vitamin section at Walmart. I use these in my skincare routine. 
This is the Perfectly Pure Natural Vitamin E Moisturizing Stick. You can use this all over your body, all over your face. I use it on my lips and it's just so soft and buttery and I feel like it heals my lips, like my dry lips. It's amazing. I forgot to put my lipstick on. It's kind of coming off. I just ate dinner. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, the next thing, which is out of the package, I used several of these things in the video that I just filmed right before this when I filmed this look. Um, so they're not all in the packages, but this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I used the e.l.f. Poreless Primer, I believe. It's like, you know, um, silicone-y. It was the white one. And then this one is like a mint blue, teal, greeny color. So pretty. I love the packaging and it's um, moisturizing and I love that, but it, do, it does still kind of fill in the pores too. So I really like this primer. My friend recommended it and I love it, girl. Thank you. This is going to be a lifesaver because I don't always want to use my high-end primers, you know, like it's nice to have this little $6 primer that is just as good to use. So yeah, I'm really glad that she introduced me to that. Thanks, boo. So yeah, there's that. And I also used this today. Okay, the next thing is this L'Oreal Color Rich Lip Liner Anti-Feathering. And this is the shade Forever Rose. I did wear this today. Let me swatch it. It's a really pretty color and these are so creamy and pigmented and they last for a while so I really like these lip liners this is my second one so yeah I'll keep getting these for sure okay the next thing is just this gimme three ivory head wrap headband thingies they're pretty cute Then I got this Duo Lash Adhesive. I always try to pick up some of this because um, I run out pretty quickly doing clients and stuff. And I just like having the lash glue that you can paint on the strips. It's just so much easier than squeezing it out of the little squeezy tube and then you get too much and it's just a mess. So I really love these um, lash adhesives right here. Any of them that come in the little tube. There's several different brands, but this is my favorite currently. Okay, the next thing is this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow 24 Hour Foundation and this is the shade Natural Beige. I did use this today but I mixed it with um, my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation because this is just a tad too dark for me. Um, I haven't self tanned yet. I usually wait until it's like bathing suit time and self tan, I don't know, whatever, but, um, I've just been lazy about it, but anyway, I've been busy with lots of other stuff, but anyway, this is what it looks like, and I really like it, I don't know that it lasts 24 hours, because this is the first time I've worn it, so I'll get back to you on that, I highly doubt it, but I like it so far, it is a glowy foundation, it's not mattifying, but I like that because I have dry skin, so you know, I'm all about the glow. Alright, the next thing is this Maybelline New York Concealer, and this is the shade Sand Sable, number 20. And this is the um, concealer that I said was comparable to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer at a fraction of the cost. So I really like this and I tried it today. It is very comparable to the NARS one. I will definitely be getting more of these for sure. Okay, and they finally got more of these at the Walmart near me, and I was so excited. I got a few more. I've got two already, and there's a few more that I'm still planning to get. But I got these Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipsticks, and these are liquid lipsticks. 
so pretty. I wore this one today. Oh my gosh. And I got these shades. Give me mocha, which is this one. Let me go and swatch them. If I can get them open. Okay, so here's give me mocha. I will say um, some of these are not consistent in their formula and you do have to go over them a few times to get them as dark as you want them or not even as dark but just to like cover everything where it's not patchy but they're still really great for only five dollars for a liquid lipstick these are fantastic okay so the next one is the rebel rose this is one of my favorite lip colors on everybody i feel like this color looks good on all skin tones So pretty. Look at that. I love the name of that too. It's just a cute little name. Okay, and the last one is Coral Corruption. Do that one on this side. And I used this one in the tutorial I did today. That one should be up right shortly after this one it will probably take me a little longer to edit that one but yeah you'll be seeing that one soon so yeah there are all of those i don't think they can they take they do take a little bit longer to dry than other liquid lipsticks but for five dollars you cannot beat the quality of these for five dollars like this is amazing and i plan to get the others All right, you guys. Well, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little haul, and I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful week. And, yeah, I th thanks again, and God bless you all. Jesus loves you, and I do too. Bye.